Oh my. Did you see that spider? Maybe that's what bit you. Trying to reroute us. Look at how much it's oozing. I don't know what we're gonna do. Did <laughs> I inhale the mosquito in my throat? Like literally. There's your jam. Get it. <laughs> we're Brittany and Drew, and in our last episode, we left Spirit behind to take a seaplane to our country's least visited but most often returned to national park which ended up being an unpredictable I think you left your side unzippered. It's like we've almost seen a moose. Looks like a spider bite. And very unforgettable four-day adventure across Isle Royale. Welcome to part two of this cliffhanger documentary. But first, let's take in a deep breath. And let it out. And no. It's time to enjoy the show. Having just arrived to camp for their second night on the island, after enduring a grueling 15-mile trek, Brittany and Drew find themselves at Chicken Bone Lake, checking up on the status of Drew's concerning spider bite. Like bruised or what? I mean, we should let it heal from your backpack strap, but the part that was all raised and puffy is like dark. Hmm. There's kind of like bubbles. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Super strange. Yeah. Never had anything like that. We're gonna have to monitor this. Mm. Cold water will help. Chicken Bone Lake, here we come. Wait, was it a chicken bone? It was a black slug. <laughs> <laughs> Give me up. <laughs> now, if only. Home. Eight hours later. Yeah. I don't like it. Doesn't hurt. The difference is this stripe going down your arm. But that's from the backpack strap, right? It could be. Oh, what's that? Well. Oh, that's weird right there. I think that's from your backpack strap. But, but I don't know. Weird. Yeah, that's. I can. That's the only part I can see. I really can't see in here. I'm just glad it's not next to your heart. We are 15 miles from anything. Hmm. Pussy. Here's a real good look at it. You want to see it up close? There. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a leech would help. Can a leech suck like the, it out? Like the one that nabbed you in the pond? Yeah, it was really gross. Feels so good not to have a backpack on my shoulders. What a journey this is. Ah, crazy. Let's make dinner. Oh, and we have something very exciting for dessert. But don't tell them yet. Tell us how you're really feeling, babe. a little bit broken. Are you doing a down dog? Oh. Yeah. Oh. What hurts the most? Here. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of weight on little shoulders. The jam tea would have been brutal. You know what? You get used to it after a couple of days. Yeah. It's like this trip is over just when we're building the muscles for backpacking, you know? That's right. Yeah, about after day three is when it really sets in that you've gotten stronger. Yeah. <laughs> See what you're about to do. <laughs> Straight from the lake. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Evelyn? Dinner time! Two and a quarter? Yep. Moose. It's really cool, cool to look through the trees. I'm making yours. I make that. Oops. Dropped a little bit on the ground. I'm gonna eat it. Let me get in on that. Looks like a real one. We just learned that our neighbors have one of those. He has a Garmin GPS satellite phone. So we're in good hands. He's gonna check on us first thing in the morning. Okay, good night. <sighs> morning. I've been dying to look at this. We stuck some gauze and cleaned it good with antiseptic before going to bed. It's so unusual. Maybe we can keep that on it with your backpack? Yeah. Still want it to breathe, but a large decaying ulcer forms, which gradually enlarges. No, no vomiting. No, no side effects. Yeah, good news. Yeah. Getting everything packed up. 
Feeling ready to rock and roll this morning. I just need some caffeine. <laughs> How much do you wish we had this on the trail? Oh, that would have been so good. It's low carbs, zero grams of sugar, high protein, and delivers so much nutritional value, but it still looks and tastes just like your very favorite childhood cereal. Magic food with flavors like peanut butter, cocoa, frosted, fruity, and no artificial colors. Like this is all naturally colored with vegetable juice and spirulina extract and the yellow one is turmeric. Oh. This is turmeric. So they're just using this spice to color yeah. that. Oh, and spirulina, we have that too. I'm frothing our powdered coconut milk. Since we live in a van, this is the best kind of milk to have on hand. Hey babe, what's your favorite flavor of Magic Spoon? You know I don't like sharing. I know you don't. The cocoa flavor because it tastes like chocolate cookies and turns my milk into chocolate milk. My favorite is frosted, which tastes like icing on a cake. So good. By using our link below and our code ADVENTURE, you'll get $5 off their four pack variety box. So you can try all the flavors and combos to your heart's desire. Now back to that magical trail. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, how's your breakfast? Look at him go. He's so cute. Still looking forward to getting you to a ranger and seeing what they have to say. Look at his shirt. Look at how much it's oozing. And that was even that? through the gauze. Weird. That smoke is pretty gnarly though this morning. You can it really is. smell it. It's definitely thick. It's definitely made it a bit cooler out here, which will be nice for being up on the Greenstone Ridge. The Greenstone Ridge Trail is the 42 and a half mile long Trans Island hike that rides along the spine of the island and is made of basalt layers that rise and fall like accordion folds. We knew we didn't have enough time to hike the entire length, but we at least wanted to experience it for a little bit, which is why we ended up hiking such long days. <sighs> Shoulders a little sore. First time putting yeah. it on. One more day. This. <laughs> day, I guess three, two and a half, two nights, our third day. And Drew has some mysterious bite on his shoulder that we still haven't figured out what it is because the only ranger station is back at Rock Harbor. Which we'll so, end up at back tonight. After 15 more miles. Oh, uh, maybe 12 now. Well, that's exciting. It's a it's hot, a one, hot one in here. I was just thinking the same thing. I'm just dripping. We've been hiking for less than 45 minutes. Here's the other end of Chicken Bone Lake. We learned earlier that P stands for portage. So anybody coming up with a boat or a canoe, they can then take it out of the water and carry it across land up to the next lake. Ooh, morning snack. They're a little hard. There it is. That's why they call it a thimbleberry. Hmm. There's so many that would be red in about a week or a month from now. Yeah, it's the biggest tease for berry lovers. Oh my gosh. Ooh, raspberries. Yeah, it's a few. All right. One way you can tell raspberries versus the thimbleberries is raspberries dangle downward. Thimbleberries grow straight up. Look at that plant. Looks like Christmas lights. They are not on the edible berries list. That is something I'm definitely not going to try because I have no idea what it is. Back on one of those boardwalks. It's a smoky one today. Well, I think we're at our highest point. This is Mount Ojibwa? I believe so. We've been hoping for a view. Ah, it's beautiful. Quite smoky though. Yeah, you can definitely see the effect. You can't quite see the coastline, but that would be looking towards Minnesota that way. It's nine miles wide. Nine miles wide. At the so, wide. Probably about seven miles that way. And actually, I think Canadian waters are really close to being up there. Nap time yet? <laughs> Trying to reroute us. I think we want to go down by the water instead of stay up on the green stone. Yeah, it's a lot of up and down up here. and I mean, it's beautiful and peaceful and the bird sounds are wonderful. Yeah. But we want to see the lake, so. Yeah, that's like the whole special area of the island is being on the coast. Come look, this is what we're going to do instead. So we started at Chicken Bone West and we've been traversing here waiting to hopefully get to the Daisy Farm Junction. Before we were just gonna go all the way and then cut down to Rock Harbor here. But I think now we're just gonna cut down at Daisy Farm and take that back to Rock Harbor. Oops. Hmm. It does add 0.2 miles, 
It's like 14.8 to stay on the ridge or 15 total, but I think we'll appreciate being by the water. I liked watching all the ducks and swans and beavers. Yeah. Do you have any spots that hurt? Besides my left shoulder muscle. Yeah? What do you got? You got a mark in there? My hip bones. Ooh. The button is right there? A little cinch buttons. Ooh. That hurts. How about your shoulders? Just like my muscle spazzing here. How about you? Uh, there. Right there. It's rubbing. Yeah. That spot hurts. Oh. I got some blisters on the outside of these toes. Along with this spot that gets rubbed by the pack. Oh, yeah. shoot. It's like coming off. Uh, I know. I don't know what we're going to do. Let me help you out. <sighs> oh. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Does it really the, hurt? It's just the tape. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my. What? What's it doing? Like all the skin came off of it. Really? Whoa. I mean, it looks better. Like... It looks better. Yeah. It looks I think it's healing itself. I mean... Is it like infected? I don't... I don't know. I got, I'll take a picture and show you. Hold on. Ah, my pole. Are you excited to be out here? So stoked! So stoked! I'm mostly excited to get to the end and I feel bad about that. I think we really pushed it guys. We've got a lot of miles still to go and we did a lot of miles yesterday. Let us be a reminder to not plan on 15 mile days. Planning a backpacking trip with your partner or with a group, try not to go over 10 miles per day. Like it's definitely doable. You can do like 20 miles. I know some people will say in the comments like, oh, we can easily do that. But if you don't want to walk from like first thing in the morning till the end of the day and just want to enjoy a lot more of the trail, 10 miles. Especially if you have 36, 38, whatever yeah. pump packs. But that's a pretty average backpack weight, I would say. Yeah. I know you are a little, a little frame, so. This is paradise. <sighs> right now. <laughs> what did you find down there? Oh, I think somebody must have squashed her with her pole. Wow. It's a really beautiful moth. She blends in. She looks like a leaf. Look at her antennas. So wow. sensitive. What a little masterpiece. She was just sitting right here on the trail. Yeah, she looks like she would glow. Rest in peace. She's so pretty. Can't even see her now. She blends right in. The sun did come out, which is making the colors of the water pop. Look how clear that is. How nice is it to be back down by the water the rest of this trail? Think would be dying otherwise. It is 4.30. That means we have an hour left till our estimated time of arrival to the ranger station. Ah. Uh. We'll see. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. dream come true. Whoa, we saw a moose. That's crazy. Here he is, munching back there. It's dinner time. Wow. I think that's a bull moose, right? Yeah. I've never seen a moose that close. Wow. And on Isle Royale? I know. Oh my goodness, how special. That just made the end of our trip. Mm -hmm. He's magnificent. Wow, he's making eye contact with the sight moments. 
I know. <gasps> Look at him. Bye, Mr. Moose. Enjoy your dinner. It was lovely meeting you. Wow. wow. That was incredible. <gasps> that just made <gasps> everything so worth it. That was the one thing we were hoping for on our Isle Royale trip, and it was within the last half mile of this really long day. We're so close to getting back to Rock Harbor. We gotta make it back though before the ranger office closes. Now we'll have a whole new hop in our step. Talk about a last minute high. Wow. Every moose matters, you know? Like if that one moose didn't exist, we wouldn't have had that magical experience. And it's just like people. Every single one of us makes a difference for someone at some point. Whether you're a human or a moose or a spider bite. <laughs> but you want to be a magical moose moment and not a scary spider bite moment. Oh, such a great sight. We are here. Hopefully we'll find an open spot and then we can continue on to the ranger station. Oh, that guy. I've been trying to keep the strap off of it some, but... It's ours. Cool. You've never stayed in one of these. No, I've just admired them from the outside. I think we can just like sleep on the floor. With our sleeping bags. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Home sweet home. Yes, I love it. By the way, it's 6.20, so however long that took us, we left it. 9.45, 9 30. Well, we just missed the rangers. What about Familiar the, places. What about the store? I know spiders can give you a nasty bite. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> let me see if I can, can raise him. Hold Thank on. you. Thank sure. you. Basically, you know, it felt hot and cold, and so we kind of monitored it the afternoon, evening yesterday, and the color was getting worse. But then today, it's like formed a layer and then from that strap just like tore it so yeah it was a blister yeah let's go yeah. um i mean it hasn't been it's not emergency it's not like painful but it's like just needs to be treated so it doesn't get affected yeah, of more course. why don't we take a walk to my office okay uh, just sort of from carrying a backpack <laughs> ah! <laughs> don't scare the campers just cleaning you up so was it right here was it was that the initial bite? Yes. That yeah, it, okay. Right feel it raised. You're all set now. Oh. oh, that's gonna last too. No matter how much you ooze tonight. Yeah, amputation needed. Appreciate that, Sean. <laughs> Look at this glorious water spigot. This is so much easier <sighs> than pumping. And what a journey it's been today. We don't have to get you life lighted off the island. No. So. And we're gonna get to enjoy our last night. It's like a hotel. Ah, I know. It's like a hotel in the woods. This is what we've got going on tonight. Hana masala with a side of tortilla chips and refried beans. You know what I'm most excited about? <laughs> you called it right. Yahtzee. National Park Yahtzee <laughs> in the National Park. I sometimes forget this island is a national park. I do too. It just feels like this amazing resort experience slash huge backcountry campground. It might be the least visited national park, but it is the most revisited. So those who've been here once more often than not return. It is an intimate national park. Yeah, and it, now you can yeah. see why people are always wanting to come back. I do have to say, I think the trails along the water by far are superior. Yes. Because they're looking at Lake Superior. I actually enjoyed our lollipop loop. Yeah. I think I wouldn't have done it any differently, to be honest. Definitely with the time yeah. we had given here. Yeah. yeah. This is our last night. The fires are burning within. Our water will be boiling very soon. This is how we relax in the evenings. It's coming. <laughs> I was cracking up at you having crushed a mosquito on your face and then I inhaled a mosquito in my throat, like literally. You like hacked him up and then showed me him eye. Go right there. You stuck your tongue out and there was a mosquito. Oh, good times camping. We are dreamers of the shore. We just woke up and crawled out of our sleeping bags. We gotta catch an 8.30 seaplane. It's time for us to get packed up. I think sleeping in these lean-tos is probably one of the most unique experiences to this island. Like, what yeah. other national park can you stay at for kind of as many days as you want, especially when you get a lean-to to yourself? And it's like every night got better. 
I don't know if I'll ever be down for 15 mile days though. <laughs> My feet feel broken. We're both sore. We're very sore. It was worth it though for what we saw. And now today I'm very stoked for a shower and our bed again. I'm excited to get back in spirit. We saw a moose. We saw a moose. We saw a moose. And if you haven't seen our entire National Parks playlist from last year, yeah. throughout 2020, we'll put a link to that right up here for you. Okay. Yeah. We all know where we belong, just wait. Ooh, wait for our home to show on the horizon soon. For joining us for this epic two-parter if you haven't yet tap that subscribe button and that bell it's the easiest way to support and encourage us to keep on sharing the adventure oh and don't forget about magic spoon using our link below and the code adventure you'll get five dollars off their four-pack variety box sure.